Hi, we're at Lincoln University in the South Island of New Zealand and it's the middle of summer, the um, 20th of January. It's been a dry summer and a dry spring, so we're into a drought situation here, but a lot of our lucerne is still growing. So we're in a rain-fed experiment here at Lincoln University where we've been grazing hoggets on lucerne since the 15th of September. Just want to show you what the plots look like and how we've set up the rotation. Here we've got a, a plot that's almost ideally ready to accept using lambs or hoggets, in this case for grazing. So it's about 30 to 35 centimetres tall. Um, the, there's just a, a semblance of flower buds and at this time of the year the flower buds come earlier than any other time in the year and the lucerne would be ready to be eaten by animals that came in and ate it. And then we'd want to work out um, how much they should eat when they come into this plot. So what we do is we grab a stem off a lucerne plant and we start looking at that lucerne plant and we recognize that the animals want to eat all of the leaf so they'll take all of the leaf off and we want to work out how much of the stem we actually want them to eat so we squeeze from the bottom of this and this is quite woody and hard we wouldn't really want animals eating that we'd shift them before then and it's still woody and hard and then I get to about here and it's quite soft and that soft part of the lucerne all of this up here is as good a quality as the leaf that we traditionally associate with being very high quality lucerne feed. So that top part of the stem is also very high quality, will have a, a, an ME of around 12 and very high crude protein, so good quality feed. If you've got production stock, you don't really want them eating this stem which has got an ME of about 8. However, in the middle of a drought, we might leave them a little bit longer to actually chew on some of this because we'd be dealing with dry ewes or um, hoggets and we're becoming short of feed. So this lucerne stand is about ideal for, for ewes and lambs to come in, or at this time of the year we wouldn't have ewes with lambs, we'd have lambs coming in and grazing. So the hoggets have been uh, set in here at about 35 hoggets per hectare and they started off grazing, as I said, on the 15th of September. They were on a 28 day rotation, there are 6 paddocks in this rotation, so each paddock had 28 days resting before they came in, and now we're on the 4th rotation. If we just look around at the paddock you can see the effects of water stress. So this crop where we're standing, obviously the, the lucerne's got a little bit of um, a deeper tap root and there's a bit more moisture, but there are areas starting to show that we've got some dry and the recovery of the lucerne is not as strong as it was in the first rotations in spring when we had plenty of soil moisture.